Culture Web and welcome to my workshop. A lot of you may have seen this video that appears on the, the head or the top of my YouTube channel and that is what to look for in buying a 100 watt laser. Well I've taken my own advice and today we're going to unbox my new 100 watt laser. So the company who I got my laser from, I also bought a fume extractor and purifier. There's this unit here. It's a, a very modern unit, modern on the market. Uh, I also uh, had one of their silent compressors. Uh, and I'll, there's a big reason why I had their silent compressor because this is an industrial 100 watt laser. And what are the first signs of a well-made product is in the well-made packaging that it comes in. It's not only nailed and screwed together, but it has metal reinforcing brackets as well, which is a very good sign. So let's get it unboxed. like to see this so here we go very very well packed oh there's a bit of a good giveaway very well packed indeed beautifully made machine metal hinges Beautifully made machine and very, very well packed with cross beams and, of course, an assortment of gear. All right, let's get the rest of it unpacked. packed all these and we're just going to roll it off using this as a ramp because like I say that's 270 kilograms you know sort of like I say nearly nearly 600 pounds it's uh, it's a lump let's take you in for a bit of a look here There she is, Thunder Laser Nova 35 100 watt laser, absolutely beautiful, extremely well packed, So uh, we'll get this wrapping off and get these auxiliary items off us. One of the filters for the uh, extractor purifier. Toolbox. Air pump. Big air pump actually. Probably the biggest air pump. This is a impulse air pump. 
that it normally comes with a you know uh, the normal machine but uh, you know I've gone for their industrial silent compressor and also 5200 now this is a chiller it's it's like an air conditioning unit it works similar to an air conditioning unit so it will chill the coolant that's the one you want beautiful let's get into it separate unboxing for this this is a really really well made good fourth axis so something of this weight and as precious as this uh, you know this is a safe way of removing it off the pallet uh, because this is about five inches off the ground and due to the weight of this um, and a lot of you out there who buy these are probably going to do be do you know getting this off on your own I'm nearly 67 uh, not the fittest guy in the world and I can move this off very easily and this is the easiest way to do it so secure this to the, the base of this. There's a lip here of about an uh, inch, inch and a quarter, something like that. So I've screwed it directly in so it's not going to slip out. And to further reinforce this, it's a bit on the bendy side. I'm going to reinforce this with some wood underneath it again. So what I've done is I've packed uh, other wood planks underneath this just to beef it all up. So that should be fine. So now I need to get these stays off and raise the, the feet up so they can roll. The next thing to do is to raise the feet up because uh, that is acting like a brake. So just a good shifter. Now this is a pure air unit, uh, it's got its own uh, exhaust fan mechanism in it uh, but I'm going to be using uh, this in conjunction with the inline fan uh, that Thunder Laser provides. So this is a, a big step up to what I used to have, uh, although the, the um, previous one I had um, it, it was a it was a very very good unit, but it relied on the blower fan, the, the exhaust blower fan that was 
originally on the laser and um, of course this one this one's a different beast altogether um, now my other unit it purified the air I suppose about uh, about 95% something like that you know as a pretty good so it wouldn't do you you know any harm the exhaust gases but I still have the ventilate side this one you don't have to vent outside it cleans the absolutely 100% cleans the air or cleans the exhaust but obviously you have to service the filters in it um, and the reason I've gone for this pure air system is because it, you know in Tasmania it gets pretty damn cold and if you have you know it's hard to heat a, a shop uh, as big as this it's uh, what uh, 12 1200 1200 square feet um, and it you know it costs quite a bit to heat it so if you're sucking air through your laser and you're venting it outside it's you can't keep it warm enough in your workshop with this you it sucks the air or the gases through the laser purifies it and blows it back into your shop so you don't you know you save by not uh, losing the heat that you've very expensively made to heat your workshop it just circulates the air and cleans it 100 percent so this is a pure air extraction system I'm just open it up and you can have a look at the filters inside packing material stop the filters from moving controllable uh, even has a remote control um, what more can you say it's the perfect unit to use in conjunction with your laser um, you will find uh, in Australia America and pretty well all of Europe if you are using a laser uh, in a business in a closed uh, should we say workshop area like this these are now becoming mandatory this is a genuine 100 watt laser now i will go into more of that in detail in upcoming videos um, and we'll we'll call this unboxing uh, finished now uh, and you can see all the items that I have uh, the pure air fume extraction system that allows you to recirculate the air so you don't uh, pump out your hot air that you you've made in your your work area uh, so it's perfectly clean that comes out of that uh, it complies with all of Euro and American standards of purification. Now that's a big thing. This whole system qualifies for Euro, American and Australian standards of manufacture and electrical. We'll also come into that in future videos because 98% of the lasers that you can purchase off eBay or Alibaba do not and it is an offense to bring a machine electrical item 
into the countries that I've just mentioned, Western world, without complying with the country's electrical and build regulations. It's a hefty fine of three and a half thousand dollars. So keep that in mind. And this is a real chiller. It has similar to an air conditioning unit inside refrigeration. So it can keep the laser at the correct temperature in all weather conditions. And a silent air compressor. I am really happy with that actually. Uh, so Thunder Laser will supply all these items as a kit for you. And that little compressor is really, really quiet and it's, I consider it really needed because it has a professional air blowing system on it. It's variable at the nozzle. We'll come into, we'll talk more about that and I will demonstrate it when we hook everything up and get it all going. So that'll be the next video.